everywhere you look, there's trees, there's power lines down, there's remnants of houses. And if you find a house that intact in eastern Kentucky, inside you will find several feet of mud. It is going to be an extremely lengthy cleanup. Good evening. Tonight, families are trying to move forward in eastern Kentucky, dealing with the aftermath of historic flooding. Our Courtney Wheaton is live in studio with the state's response and also a closer look at what these families are facing. Courtney. Megan, when you see the videos and pictures coming out of eastern Kentucky, you see these families are truly starting over. The governor addressed the Commonwealth earlier and shared ways we can help these families recover. Randall Roberson and his family were able to escape the flood, but came back home to no home at all. All my tools, side by side, it's all gone. It's all gone. His back is broken and he's not sure how he will provide for his family. I live from month to month and we was barely getting by. And now I don't know what we're going to do. Today, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir urged families to apply for FEMA relief. He also shared there is more than $3 million in the Eastern Kentucky Relief Fund. First payments have already gone out. It's $120,000 in funeral payments to the families of 12 lost loved ones. This means they don't have to apply. They don't have to seek reimbursement. That includes the four young siblings who lost their lives. Governor Bashir says donations are crucial to recovery. Monetary donations help the most. Gift cards where they could get new clothes and things to the Walmart, for instance, in the area are helpful. Cleaning supplies, water, very important. But do not donate clothing. Right now, the death toll sits at 37. Two people are still missing. The families who survived are devastated but thankful to be alive. And right now, the governor is still very concerned about excessive heat and the possibility of high winds and storms, which could cause even more destruction. I have links to different ways you can give to these families on the web version of this story on local12.com. Courtney, thanks. The Orlanger Police Department is sending five of its old cruisers there to eastern Kentucky to help with the police departments. Some lost their entire fleet in the flood.